Hey, in this playlist I cover the fundamentals of Pixie.js. This is our make of a tutorial I created a couple years ago, updated to use version 8 of the library. That being said, the concepts remain largely the same, but there are several changes in the syntax, particularly when comparing version 6 to version 8. Finally, I want to mention that I have an article that I'll be updating whenever the API changes, so if I use something in one of the videos that becomes deprecated in the future, you'll find the updated version in the article. And without any further ado, let's get started. First, create a project folder, open a new terminal, and type npm init-y to create a package.json file. Next, we'll install pixie.js using this command npm install pixie.js and in the meantime, I'll prepare the index file. Now, we need to set up our dev server. I'll be using Vite, so to install it, I'll run this command npm install vite-save-dev. Next, create the JS file which will contain the application code. Since we'll be using a lot of asynchronous code, we'll wrap all of our application logic in an IFI, which stands for Immediately Invoked Function Expression. In fact, the concept of self-invoked asynchronous code is a fundamental part of JavaScript, not just specific to Pixie.js. Then, we'll add a script tag linking to the JavaScript file. Make sure you include the type attribute and set its value to module. This is very important. Finally, run the dev server using this command, npx vite. And this wraps up the very first episode of this series, so make sure to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.